Okay, so I made a new batch of uh, alcohol. Um, I guess you'd call it a fruit wine, but it's basically a sugar wash. And I brought some frozen fruits, but you'll see in the video, it's not a long video, it's just like, uh, it's a new test for me. The last time I did it was with berries that came out of a tree in my yard, which are, when I made it, it was really sweet, really good, but very, like, tastes like perfume, so it gets on your nerves after a while. This one's made with blueberries, raspberries, wild blueberries, and blackberries, strawberries, I think I said. Anyway, I made it yesterday, and this is uh, the next morning, so I guess about 24 hours. Let's see if it, like, uh, started bubbling or what. And this is what it looks like. Uh, it's got bubbles. All the fruit's floating on the top. Should take about 15 days. I don't know if we can hear it. I can see the bubbles popping. So it is working. Can't wait to try it. Should be good this time. Hoping it will be. The fruit, I forgot to say it in the video. Whoops. <laughs> the fruit cost me $3. Uh, it was on special little bag of frozen fruits. You always got to make sure there's no preservatives or anything like that because it will kill your yeast or make sure all your stuff is really disinfected. Uh, use uh, stainless steel if you can to do whatever you're doing. Your sugar diluted. I, I used maybe three kilos of sugar so I used two bag uh, one bag and a half of that because there's a lot of sugar in the fruit you can always add more sugar if ever you find uh, apparently I read if you put too much sugar it stops your yeast from working or whatever anyway so uh, this is a short video like I couldn't film everything because uh, you can basically see it on my other videos of how to do it it's just but the only thing I changed was the the fruit that I used and I'm going to put updates on it. I just wanted to share. If I'm missing something in the video, like I forgot to say something and you're, you want to know, I can either direct you to how to do it or what to do or where I have another video or another person's video. I don't mind sharing other people's video like that helped me or, or a website that helped me. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I have fun and at the same time it documents what, what I've been trying because I'm not a pro, it's a, I'm never going to say I know what I'm doing. I'm just a average whatever that's trying to do this as cheap as possible. Like I'm using bread yeast instead of yeast from a brewery. So everything I get, I get it from the grocery store. Because I'm too far from places to go. Like I don't know where the nearest wine or beer store is to go buy this stuff. I just ordered a airlock. Actually, I ordered two of them. But it should take like two months before I get it when you order stuff from China. Yeah, so anyway, on to the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe, like, whatever, if you want to see the updates. You don't have to. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. So okay, today the... we're going to be making uh, another batch of alcohol that will be completely different. I went and bought some mixed berries. It's got blueberries, raspberries, and straw, uh, strawberries. Yeah, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and wild blueberries. No preservatives, nothing. So this is the fruit I'm going to be using. Plus, I'm also going to be adding sugar. And I'm anxious to taste it because the last berry one that I made was amazing and sweet and fruity. But I didn't like the fruit that I used. This time, I'm trying something I like. So we're going to see what this is going to come out like. So first of all, i got to take the fruit. Add a bit of water, put it on the in the frying pan or the pot, and just soften them up a bit. Get some berry juice to mix in with my alcohol mixture, and okay. here we go. So now, I'm gonna add some warm water in here and dilute the sugar. And uh, can't really film that; makes a lot of noise. So, if you see my other videos, you know how it works. Just add some sugar. Add some hot water, add some sugar, mix it up. Once it's all diluted, then after that we will add 
colder water. But for now, let's just do this. I took the frozen fruit, I added some water to it, and I mashed it with a mashed potato thing to like uh, make it more into like liquid and sweet juice, whatever. I'm going to put this in the bucket with the water and the sugar. And right now the yeast is proofing, or proofing, it's, it's rising in its glass. Okay, so now we got our fruit, we got our water, we got our sugar. My yeast is proofing, and after that, I'm going to put away and wait 15 days. And that should be really good. I'm anxious to try it. We'll see. Anyway, I'll leave updates on the other videos. Right now I'm not finished. Like I said, I put the yeast, and that's it.